the big welcome back to our Jane Wakefield's oh. giving her back to us. Been on, I've been on a tour. I'm, I'm, on, I'm on tour at the minute, so you I've been all. Left us. No, love, no. I've just been very, very busy all of the United Kingdom. I've been up to Scotland on tour with the show, and of course, I'm, I'm producing a massive show coming up at the London Palladium in May. So that's that's taking a lot of my time up. <gasps> oh God, I just went a bit funny then when I said that. But, um, <laughs> but otherwise, I've been sorting a bit of my life out. You know, my boyfriend's left his band now, so we're sp you know trying to get a life together. And, uh, and that takes so he, some is doing. Is he in now? Is he in situ? Yeah, oh, he's okay. probably watching today, so I might have to keep it clean a bit more now. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to. I'm not going to, you know. <laughs> but it also, you know, I've been getting into technology a little bit more. I've got myself a, a phone, that you, uh, one of these new phones. So I've got a new phone number, I've got everything else. What, the one that we've all got? Yeah. Have you? I've got one of them <laughs> now. Have you worked it, have you out? Worked it out? No, I can't oh. work it out. <laughs> it's so easy. It's, it's the so easiest not. phone in the world. It's so not. Do you know, I had to ring customers services the other day and I said I've had this phone for three days now and it's not working and I'm just ringing me and I know there's people out there who want to talk to me. <laughs> I was getting quite upset and she says there's a little button, has it got a little red dot on this button? I said yes it has and she said that's because you've got it on silent, it's going straight to <laughs> such a good. So Tracy thank you very much Don't for customer service. I know I was. You I can't have been just doing all boring everyday organising things. Have you had some fun She's James? had a birthday. Yes, I've had a birthday you know yes. I'm 32 now. Yes. Well done. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> See, uh, yes, I am. Um, oh. Ed, Ed now because he's not driving all over the place and going. He's partaking in a glass of wine with me at dinner oh. now. Yeah. So he's, he's back on the sauce. He's not sauce. He's off his head or anything. He's just having a nice glass of dinner. Yeah, so he hasn't drunk for years, has he? No. And it, it's it's really quite nice that well, we so can you do. You two. That. Oh, I see. Right. She's turned into you. I, I have am. given it all up. <laughs> Really good girl, new to her down the pub every That's night. That's right. Really? That's right. Yeah, good I've been going around my local pub Sunday lunch. It's been fantastic. I've really enjoyed that time away, but I'm Aww. really pleased to be back. I've I've missed everyone, so I'm oh, glad to be back. To, good to have, good you, to have back. you back, mm. Jane. And good to see you turning into Carol McGiffin. <laughs> <laughs> Watch that one unfold. Now Cheryl Cole has been one busy bee of late because she's been travelling all over the world. Now, she has been reported as saying, though, that she doesn't mind this at all because she hates being on her own. Cheryl says, I fear I'd go brain dead if I don't, so I just have to keep busy, even if it means that I have to talk to myself. Well, it doesn't look like Cheryl's all that good with silence, but what are we like when it comes to just being, saying nothing? Is silence golden? Uh, can't bear it. <laughs> it's a surprise. Funny, that, isn't it a surprise? <laughs> um, no, do you know what? When it's, when it's really completely silent at home, I get a bit down. It pulls me down, my mood. I have, I like to have noise somewhere in the house. I have all the tellies on in all the different rooms. I know, I know, it's terrible. Or um, music. You know what? You're gonna, you're gonna ruin the planet doing that. Oh, sh <laughs> single-handedly. That's it. You're on gonna finish own, off the tile. Your is footprint. ruining the planet. Yeah. But no, I, I need it. it. Comforts me. I think noise comforts me. And I even like noise in bed as well. I don't mean that. <laughs> no. No. What yeah. I meant was when I go to bed, I, I can't sleep in silence, so I put the TV on for sleep mode, you know, and you put it on time, so I go to sleep with noise as well. That's I weird. It's not. Are you it's insecure? No, I don't like silence. Oh, I like to talk, I like conversation, I like noise. I find that a bit weird, I actually. Do, Carol, um, yeah. I think if you like, if you, I, I do, I think too much noise is, is weird, but also I think too much silence is also weird. Yeah. Really? Um, I can't have noise all the time. When I'm working, I can't have any noise, any distractions, anything at all. Even if it's a noise that's miles away that I can just hear like a little tap dripping, I can hear it and I don't like it. But I think having too much silence is a sign of getting old. I think, because my <laughs> mum, honestly, any kind of music or telly, it would always be like, turn that blimmin' noise off! Yeah. And I, that reminds me all the time that if yeah. I sit there and I think, well, isn't it lovely and quiet? I'm like, Quick, where's the stereo? Put something on, put some music on. And now I do put music on all the time. If I'm, you know, if I'm not having to read something or write something, then, then I do, but otherwise... Does it not distract you? Do you get distracted if there's noise? Well, I don't mind if I'm not working. Mm. If I'm working, I can't have it on. But otherwise, I don't just leave the telly on. What's the point of that? Exactly. What's it's the point of the background, noisy? But that's for watching. You put a radio on or, or put some music on or something like that. I can't that. get reception where I live. 
What, for what, a CD? For the radio. No one could do a CD. <laughs> 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 you you work in music. That's a dreadful excuse. Oh, yes. <laughs> Although I think you might benefit from it. I tell you, it's, it's, there's a lot to be said. It's learning to like your own company as well, just having a bit of downtime with I didn't say I don't yourself. like being on my own. I said I don't like being on my own inside. But well, you're not on your own because you're just surrounded by constant chatter. I, I, love, I love silence. I absolutely adore it. I think it's because, you know, our life is so busy. With, there's so much traffic around. There's so Everything is noise, 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 noise. Especially when you've got children, it's noise constantly. Mm. I actually crave silence sometimes and now that i live on my own a little bit more than i used to do i love to just switch everything off and uh, and, and read a book it's it might, just it, beautiful. it does depend on how much noise you're subjected to all yeah. the time doesn't it mm. if you're subjected to a load of noise because you've got kids then silence would be great mm. and you know when i go home i can't i don't want to talk to myself you know i talk for a living basically <laughs> and i don't want to go home. i get sick of the sound of my own voice don't say anything <laughs> With you, Jane, I yeah. love. You know, Darren's a bit like you, Zoe. He has to have the TV on to go to sleep because he's got tinnitus. He gets up in the mornings. You know, the news goes on straight away. And if it's not that, I've got, got fireman Sam. Has he got that? Yeah. That? So he has to have a, in, yeah, in the constant ringing. Ooh, um, yeah. So you know, okay. yeah, too many years stood next to loudspeakers. So uh, when he's away, he's away at the moment. Yeah. Oh, I get up, nothing goes on. Just mm. silence. Silence is golden. It's wonderful because then you can just. I don't know, I think, I think you think more when you're not, your atmosphere isn't clouded. Mm. Also, yeah. hearing the birds, now it's spring as well. Oh, oh. Just, uh, I they love drive the me spring. mad. They drive me mad. Do you know what? I was in, I was in the country last weekend at Mars, Mum Mars, Mars and Dad's house, and I'm telling you, they were a wrecking. They do? They wake you up at four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, they do. Like, Shut up. <laughs> I've got one that lives in my chimney. God. Lives yeah. in my chimney. There's chimneys in every room, and fireplaces in every room. And oh, every morning I can't bear birds. Hate them. Hate them. <laughs> Maybe try a bit of meditation, though, ladies, so you could zone all of that out. Have no. you ever tried that? I've always been drawn to the idea of it, but I know I'd be rubbish at being that quiet for that long. Oh, it's lovely, especially you know if you've got time to just put, take about 20 minutes of time, your time, me time, and just go and sit in a bath and just relax. Mm -hmm. And I think. I think every woman and man deserves that That's time. not meditation, though, is it? Because meditation is clearing your head of all thought. Well, what so are you, you thinking about think when you're laying in the nothing. bath? Well, no, well you, you're still <laughs> thinking about... <laughs> you're still thinking about something, though, aren't you? Well, I don't know. What well, are you thinking well, about? <laughs> <laughs> meditation is a process. It's a skill. I Have you done do it? it. I no way. I couldn't... I don't... I can't empty my head. There's too much stuff in there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm old. <laughs> I know it is relaxed. I know what she's saying. I lay in the bath when Jake's not at, with me and I've got the house to myself. I'll go and have a bath, cup of tea on the side, and then I'll phone my friend. Oh, dear. Yeah, it's lovely. You've got that meditation down, Pat, so well I done. I have done, yeah. yeah.